new general manager of the Edmonton Elks, G. Roy Simon, joins me now. G. Roy, I know this is a tough day for the organization, uh, shockwaves, all those things. Um, what do you make of the day? How do you assess it in the long run? You know, it's it's a bit of a shock still, but um, you know, we, we gotta you know this this is the this is the business of football. Um, you know, you deal with the game, uh, but you know, you also have to deal with the business. And and when you, when you don't win games, you, you you know, there's changes that that needs to be made. But um, right now, we're just we're just focused on you know gathering everything and, and getting getting all the information we need to get, and uh, just just get this thing moving in the right direction. You've been a part of this organization for a few years. You're getting groomed to be in this role. That's how it was perceived. Uh, what can you say about your growth from player to management side to now GM of a football team in this league? Yeah, I've learned a lot over over the past uh, three years, and, and you know I've learned a lot from Chris. He's he's been he's been very helpful and and helping me prepare for this moment. Un unfortunately, it's at it's at his um, demise. But um, you know, like I said, I'm I, I'm I've been preparing and, and I've been I've been you know ready to make the, to make the next step. And like I said, we're we're um, we're we're getting ready to you know get go win our first ball game. Uh, six weeks in, I know you guys had the bye week, go 0 and five. These walk off losses mm -hmm. at the end of the day, as tough as they are, they're still losses. Yeah. Just how do you assess the first? portion of the season the way things have gone and, and where your team's at we, we've played well in spurts um, but and, and then there's other spurts we didn't and you know we've, we've given up uh, too many uh, too many big plays at, at, at the wrong times uh, we got to rein that in and and, uh, and minimize that and like I said we got to play we got you know we're playing hard we're playing tough um, but we just got to learn to play smarter and and, and finish You've got Jarius, who's coming in as the head coach. He's got the OC duties as well. I know you guys go back a, a long ways to your BC days. What do you know about him that you have faith in him and the job he can do? I just know I know how smart he is. I know um, he's he's always looking forward to, to you know the the play that's that's going and the play that's coming. So um, and he he's he's essentially got a photographic memory. You know he he, he brings up plays from you know ten years ago. Um, so you know I, I have the utmost confidence in Jerry and and um, the ability that he has as, as a leader. And and I think we're going to be okay. Well, you're the former player. You're a Hall of Famer. <laughs> I'm I'm sure you're looking at stuff that's going on on the field, and you want to get. Ball. If I was out there, I'd make that catch or this or that. You know, I think that's instinct. But for you, when you watch this team, are there some little things that can be course corrected really quickly that could end up being wins for you guys? Yeah, well, like I said, we'll make some tweaks and, and there won't be wholesale changes. I think, like I said, I think we have a very good roster. I think um, that we have a very good coaching staff. They're very smart, they're very knowledgeable, and they have experience. So um, I think I think we're on the right track. We just, like I said, we just got to make a couple tweaks and, and I think we're going to be, uh, we're going to be okay. It is important to say the right things. It's important to put those things into action. And it's also important to have the horses that are willing to be led what do you tell us about the guys in the room that are playing the games that are out there sacrificing their bodies? What is the situation like with them? Are you talking to them, and what's your read on them? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll talk to them briefly, but I, I, don't, I won't. You know, this is this is Jerry's show. He'll, he'll, you know, he's the head coach, so I have to let him do that. Um, I, you know, guys will come to me, and they'll, they'll probably come more individually, and I'll have individual talks with them. But in the end, we got to have 100% buy-in from everybody. Everybody's got to be on board. Everybody's got to be rowing the boat in the right direction for us to for us to get out of this and, and moving in, in, in where we want to go. I know it's a bittersweet day, but congratulations. You're a GM in the <laughs> CFL. Thanks, Jero. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.